Hello and great welcome to Idea Statica tutorial. Myself is Jaraj P. This is tutorial number two. Here I will demonstrate how to model and design a beam to column shear connection which uses both a fin plate and a large end plate. So let us start with the Idea Statica tutorial number two. So as usual, uh, let us start with uh, a blank project. Okay, so we have selected this one and so let us uh, uh, fill up uh, the parameters involved in the joint design. So name I will just write down. It is uh, my OBL plant, OBL plant. And the description I will write down. That's the beam column, beam column. Share connection, share connection. So, for this case, what I will do is I will select for uh, a smaller diameter that is M16 8.8. So, I will select it and the concrete grade for the project I will keep the same C25 by C30 and the design code is uh, taken to be the Euro code. So, let us uh, start creating the project. Okay, so let us start uh, populating the graphic window with uh, the various components of the joint. So straight away, as usual, we will start with uh, the addition of members. So we'll add members. So we'll select a rolled profile for the column. And for, for the column, I have selected the member HEA320. So we can just select from here HEA320. So before that, I have to go to and select HEA. HA320 okay HA320 okay so I will select the grade of steel as 275 so I can select this okay so so this is my column so I want obviously to be vertical so let us just go on editing the parameters involved okay so this I want it to be a continuous member and uh, the corresponding uh, gamma angle for this vertical orientation let us fill it up that is my gamma here that's a pitch pitch angle let me fill it as 90 degrees 90 degrees enter okay so we can say that now the column is uh, vertical so then we have uh, all other parameters let us keep the same alignment in node and the model type we can let us keep the same so let us straight away go for the addition of the second member and the third member which are the B members so we have let us add the members so that is uh, M2 so for uh, one beam I have selected is IP240 so let us just add it so it is uh, my IP section so it is IP240 only so IP240 has to sunfire the same okay and uh, for the other parameters, uh, obviously this I want to be an ended section where I want to apply the loads and then uh, the other parameters, uh, beta obviously I want it to be minus 90. So let us fill the beta value that is minus 90 and uh, all other values, for example the, all these angles will be set to 0. Zero. and then uh, we have to set this uh, EZ that is uh, the offset uh, with respect to the Z axis after modeling of M3 so let us fix the position of uh, the load where the load is to be applied okay so we will uh, have for this member because I want to apply only the vertical load so I will, I will choose an NVZ MY model and the forces I will choose it to be at a position because this is very important because otherwise what, I will, what will happen is any addition of the forces may create an accidental moment also so here I have kept the position as 55 based on the connection with the web and the fin plate connection he said 55 so that's okay for M2 so this is our M2 let me just so you can see that this is the how the M2 is oriented and it is connected to the web, web of the column. Okay. So now let us go for the addition of uh, the second beam. So as usual, we'll keep it as uh, add member. 
so this is my m3 member and the third beam second beam i want to keep it as ipe 330 so let me keep it as ip 330 so i have to add any member that is not in the lab in my library so i will just add this is my ipe ipe 330 so we can go a little bit down so this is my ipe 330 here okay fine okay obviously we find that it is not in the correct alignment we have to change edit all the para record parameters as usual i have kept it as the ended one okay and uh, we have to keep all these angles as well zero with the beta angle obviously will be zero if i want to be in the other direction zero here and uh, and all this uh, n n v z m y i will keep the same only thing is that i will keep my position a little bit uh, larger one because it is connected to the flange so i have kept the cg of my bolt group at 145 so i will keep it at 145 for the lowest position okay so that's all so we have model all the three models all the three members in the graphic space so we can have a look on those this is my okay so we can just start rotating and see whether it is correctly yes one member is at a web connected to the web and other is m3 is connected to the flange and here the member connection with the web will be realized through the fin connection whereas uh, the shear connection of m3 with the flange will be realized through the end plate large end plate details so having said that let us start introducing the various components through the manufacturing operations and before going that before going to the manufacturing operations uh, please ensure that the top of structure for all the members are the same so for that what i have to do is i just want to get so i think that this is not the right one yes so look here let me just zoom it a little bit so as you can see for m2 and m3 the tasks are different okay let me just zoom it look here the task of m2 is here and the top of structure of m3 is a little bit higher it does mean that uh, we need to increase or we need to shift the top of structure of m2 to meet to match the tasks of m3 and this is done through the ez so let us go straight to the the parameters associated with m2 and in m2 we have to uh, provide an ez that is an offset ez of 45 and this is calculated based on the dimensions of m2 and m3 45 so as you can see now perfectly the tasks are the same the top structure of m2 and the tos of m3 are the same so this is very important because uh, when especially we deal with uh, multiple members it is important that we ensure that tos is as per as envisaged in the design drawings okay so now we have ensured that m2 and m3 are having the same top structure so it is time that we start introducing the various manufacturing operations required to incorporate the fin plate as well as uh, the end plate components into the model so let us start the operations operations so first we will start with the the fin plate so i think that the fin plate is here yes the fin plate okay so here obviously i would like to go for the 8.8 bolts and as told you should we will go for uh, a small of bolt here because the shear loads are smaller so okay okay fine so as you can see let me just rotate the model so that you will see what element is being introduced so you can say that here on this side let me just zoom it a little bit yes on this side you can say that on the rear side okay or I, or as far as idea static is concerned this is a front side i uh, have introduced a plate right now it has got only two bolts now let us start editing this uh, you know this uh, fin plate that is generated as per our requirements okay so let me 
take the model back so let us start editing the various parameters here so it is uh, we have it is connected to obviously to the member m2 we know that this will plate has to be connected to m2 and the member part associated member part is obviously the web one and uh, and this is to be connected to m1 and so let us keep the for the fin plate the material radius as 275 and the thickness we will keep it as a say 10 mm so let us increase it 10 mm and the location i want to take it to the rear part okay so from the front so that we can easily so i take it uh, to the rear so then uh, the connection obviously the connection of the fin plate with the member will be uh, considered or uh, will be considered in the design as the bolted one and the gap will keep it as a 8 and the dimension all the reference dimensions we will take to the center line and uh, let us keep the offset between the fin plate and the member web as say 90 mm and uh, it is important that we fix the top and the bottom sides of uh, the fin plate so let us provide the associated uh, pre-calculated dimensions so top will keep it as a minus 30 minus 30 and uh, the bottom let us keep it the same dimension minus 30 so that is symmetrical with respect to the center line minus 30 and uh, we have got a notch and the notch field everything it is given as a and uh, the notch of first is 8 mm so it is important that we start uh, so this is how we have fixed the fix the fin plate and let us start providing all the associated bolt dimensions as well so so we have already selected m16 8.8 for the bolts and now let us provide the transverse locations of these rows so we'll keep it as a minus 50 minus 50 and a plus 50 so then the longitudinal will keep it as zero and the shear plane introduced in the thread okay and the shear transfer is through the bearing and the tension and uh, obviously we'll keep uh, we need to specify the weld size that is used for connecting the fin plate to the column web so in this case let us provide it as a example say 8 mm so we'll keep it as a larger one because it's a direct connection s275 and it will be a fillet weld okay so thus we have finalized the definition of the fin plate component you can uh, very well see it let me just so you can say that this is my zoom it okay so this is a fin plate assembly as you can see that it is connected to using a 10 mm thick uh, fin plate and we have got uh, the fin plate being connected to the column web using the fillet valves and uh, we have defined the three numbers of boards so next let us introduce uh, the second component that is the end plate so obviously as usual we'll go for the manufacturing operation and we'll go for uh, the end plate and a plate so this is my end plate so currently as you can see that the end plate so let us start editing the the parameters associated with the end plate tp1 so obviously as you know it is required for not for m2 it is required for m3 so let us keep it m3 so you can see that it's automatically shifted to the m3 component and uh, and obviously it is connected to m1 and the material is s275 and let us provide the thickness of the end plate as 12 mm and the connection will be a bolted one and uh, let us keep the dimensions to the profile so that uh, taking the profile dimensions as the reference we can start providing all the dimensions to the top and the bottom edges also to the left and the right edges of this end plate so here the calculated dimensions are uh, t let us keep the edge dimensions as 10 here and the left and the left let us keep it as a 15 mm so obviously these dimensions have to be finalized by the designers and the bottom let us uh, take the bottom a little bit down so it is a 10 mm i take it to bottom 10 mm and the right let, us, let me take it as a 15 mm and this is the same as my left dimension so 15 mm and remember that these are all set with respect, with respect to the profile boundaries that is very important and here we don't have any kind of a backing plate or the notch 
so that is regarding uh, the anti plate so the anti plate dimensions have been finalized so it is time that we start mentioning the bolt locations so we'll select m16 8.8 bolts and let us start uh, uh, fixing the layers the various layers of the bolt so here i will put it as a minus 75 minus 75 and then uh, we have uh, uh, 60 in 60 distance so i will keep it as 60 we have got the four rows so it does mean that we have to keep say three and uh, and that is uh, the left because i have mentioned all the bolts all the bolts as you can see here look here the bolts have already been populated so the left layers i will keep like that because it is not required to be left layers it is not required because all the left let us keep it as a minus 35 minus 35 that uh, fix the position okay of the bolt row and the bolt bottom we need not to finalize because uh, all the bolts are being specified through the top layers so this we can keep it as a blank and uh, the right layer right we can keep it as a minus 35 so this also we can keep it as a minus 35 minus 35 okay so the shear plane is the thread and so we have fixed all the now let's fix all uh, the boards elements have been positioned so let us uh, fix the weld size we'll keep for example uh, all all weld size to be six among there's a fillet weld on both sides that is for the flanges because we connect both the flange as well as the weld element okay the flange is the web element so let us mention here also the six among and that's again a double sided fillet weld so as you can see we have uh, successfully okay modeled the all the components and the members so let me just yes so let me just show you the model so look here so you can say that just do my special disconnection yes so this is my end plate as you can see that the bolts okay the four rows are rows of bolts are properly positioned and you can see the end play locations are being properly done it is important that we, before we proceed for applying the loads all the components involved in the models are popularly properly checked otherwise what will happen is there could be some singularity errors coming while we're doing the analysis so in our model we have seen that everything is all right so we can also just give another rotation so you can see that here the bolt sides okay it's good enough So let us uh, start filling the load effects. For member M2, I will apply a, only a shear load of uh, 80 kN downwards. And for M3, let me add minus 225. So the definition of uh, the load effects is completed. So it does mean that we can straight away go for uh, the verification. So let us press the calculate button. May take I think that uh, 10 seconds 15 seconds okay it's good it's over as you can see that the analysis is completed 100% of the load is included and uh, there's only a marginal strain of a 0.3 percentage and the boards are utilized 50 percentage the wells being taken to 67.9 percentage level so let us quickly go for uh, the various checks plus this check button so let us go for the plastic strain and let us just mesh it so as you can see let us just see where the stresses are being concentrated let's just rotate it so you find that here uh, the strains are critical okay for the column web so and uh, let us go for uh, the stress distribution so look here so this is how the stress are being distributed so the maximum being 275 so here we can say that uh, the critical elements being uh, the web here so the column web as you can see where the fill plate is connected here we will find that there is a large stress concentration okay 
and uh, the next test concentration we can see that in the web of uh, the member M3 okay so it is important that we study the stress effects and if we find that some stress effects are in the motor region we uh, redimension the connection designs okay so now let us go for uh, the boards so as you can see we have uh, the three boards so this is obviously is my fin plate as you can see that it has been connected over here so look here the fin plate is selected so you can go for checking uh, okay so this is my bolt one so there are only three boards in the fin plate this is my bolt this is my bolt two bolt three and at the same time you can also see the stress concentration in the fin plate okay so we can also see the distribution so here though it is a uh, basically only a vertical load you can see that small amounts of tension loads are also being generated in the bolts and the bolts are uh, almost we can say that equally loaded in shear that is the ATV applied so it's 36.7 and uh, the capacities as you can see this the uh, bearing resistance coming from uh, the plate bearing resistance okay and uh, this is uh, the utility ratio of the bolts in tension this is the utility ratio in shear and this is the overall uh, utility okay so and for example if we select and say for example say before so you can see that this is how the stress are being distributed in before we don't have much problem okay as far as the end plate is concerned and all the bolt forces can be verified here and as i already told in the other tutorial we can also just press this button in order to get a view of what we call as just a minute Yes, you can see it. Uh, for example, B8. I'll just press it. So we will get the small calculation. But uh, this calculation is given only for the tension. But this uh, connection is uh, very basically for the shear only. So we can also get, uh, for example, uh, the deformed shape. So we can just uh, remove the equivalent stress. We can go for the plastic strains. So let us improve the, so you can see that how the members, you can see that while you know the connect, the member M3 that is being connected to the, okay, the end plate, it will not have much deformation and you can see that the connection, the member that is connected with the fin plate, it rotates a lot, okay, as, it is, as is evident in this sketch. Okay, this is how we start, you know, seeing how the various components deform because just by looking into the deformed shape, we can also, uh, see whether any kind of an uh, uh, you know any kind of a uh, performance that is uh, not in line with our expectation has occurred in the model or not this is one very good way to check the behavior of uh, or the modeling uh, strategy so that is all about the result evaluations so if we find that uh, some of the boards are uh, highly uh, okay uh, underutilized we can also rearrange the number and position of the boards so so having done that, if, if we are comfortable with all our, uh, you know, check uh, observations in regard to the strain concentration, stress distribution, and also the deformation, we can go for regenerating the report and just press this button. So as I already told you, the report can be generated either as a one page or a detailed one. So here I have pressed the detailed report. So you'll be able to obtain all the main required okay input and output parameters this is the model that we have uh, generated okay through the various components and this will tell you the material grades and uh, then the details of the load effects then the bolt diameters are given here and as you can see that uh, this will tell you okay the limits to which the various components have been stressed and uh, we'll also obtain uh, the, the stresses in the plates okay here and here we will get to the distribution of the okay the overall checking geometry here you will find that the entire uh, model is all right and here we will find uh, the distribution of the strains and you will find that a small amount of a strain getting accumulated in near the column web okay otherwise we don't have a so that too the strain is of the order of 0.25 percentage and these are the stress being distributed and uh, we have seen that as far as the stress distribution is concerned the column web where the fin plate is connected as well as uh, the column web of uh, the member M3 is critical. 
so this provides you the check for the various uh, boards okay so that's all so uh, thanks a lot so please uh, ensure that you sus subscribe to the channel because uh, i am planning to upload at least to say 20 tutorials in future and this will cover many complicated connections earthquake qualifi qualified joints everything so uh, please ensure that you subscribe to the channel to get the notifications so thanks a lot and have a nice day